Because I've you know, obviously seen these and, uh, and not been in one yet. This is the first time I've driven one. Uh, um, just a no, yeah, no, do this, this, yeah. this gauge here is a power meter now. It's normally a fuel right. gauge. Um, and as you accelerate, it goes up round to show you how much um, power you're drawing from the batteries. And then when you come off, sorry, while you're driving, yeah. um, it goes down and shows you regeneration. Uh, there's six lights up, three lights down. Right. Lights. Now that is so much more Tesla-like, that sound, as well as Oh, really? Fact that, and it's much more Tesla-like than the iMove, which doesn't quite have that. I think this is um, this is great for the road. I love the torque. Yeah. You know, it'll be a similar, similar thing with the Tesla as well. Yeah. Um, the torque, it's smooth, there's no gear change. Yeah. Um, you don't really push the brake pedal. I don't know, it sounds odd. No, you don't and need it, to use the brakes, but, do you? But no. it's nicer to drive because of that. Yeah. Um, it does make driving a, a manual car kind of seem a bit archaic. Yes, yes. So how many have they made of this? This is really, it really is, an, in a sense, an experimental vehicle, isn't it? I mean, yes. It's a sort of test, or a test vehicle, I suppose. There's 612 in the world. Right. So 500 approximately for um, the Californian experiment. So right. there's um, sp split between the east and the west coast. Um, then 60 of... I think it's 60 plus a couple of spare vehicles right. went to Germany and then 44 came here. So we've right. got 40 cars with four spares. Are they actually put together in the UK then? They are, yes. Is that where they're built? Yep. Right. Um, they went, they were put together on the plant um, in amongst the, the line just along right. with all the rest of the vehicles. This is in Cali, this is yep. awesome. Right, absolutely. And that's just... the biggest thing that we've got going for this vehicle. Is yeah. it, it's recognisable as a car. And yeah. so many people have commented on that yes. like, and said, look, you know, this is, I've, I've walked up to this and if it wasn't for the graphics, I would have thought it was many. Exactly. So, yeah. um, and I think that other vehicle manufacturers are going to start realising the fact that people want a normal car that's electric. Yeah. You know, they don't want a special little, you know, no. one-off kind of, not quite car-like vehicles. So we're doing 70 now, I mean, you wouldn't know, that is amazing, because I mean, it's such a quiet car anyway. Yeah. It's but fantastic. The, the main noise, I think, even now with petrol cars as well, is wind noise. It's, it's wind and road noise, yeah, isn't it? It's, it's, yeah. it's not engine noise as no. such. So what is the idea then? So once they've tested this and worked out things, I mean, are they going to actually build, is it, so is BMW going to build a purpose-built electric vehicle? That's, that's yeah, uh, it's been confirmed as a mega city vehicle now, there's no name for it at the moment. Right. It's, uh, for the next three to five years, um, basically as soon as they can get it on the market, I think. Right. Um, and the lessons learned from this vehicle will directly influence right. that. Yeah. Um, they're also looking at the Active E One Series, the One Series Coupe body shell. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's four seats with a boot. Yeah. And that's going to be still a development vehicle, but much closer to the real right. Thing, right. right. So, so there's uh, another generation of ineffective yeah, testing. Uh, Still limited numbers, uh, not for sale, but with probably actual technology. And, um, right. Again, I, I don't know whether it's going to be lightweight technology. I think that's so if they get the technology right in a, in a heavy car, it'll work in a, yes. in a in a fully designed. Yeah. Because uh, that's presumably, I mean, that is an important aspect of it in the fact that certainly for the foreseeable future, batteries are going to be heavy. Heavy number. I mean, presumably that makes up a very substantial part of the weight of this car. Is the, it, uh, is the battery? They weigh around about 260 kilos. Um, vehicles are around about 260 kilos heavier than the standard Mini. Is it? Is oh, right? Is it that much difference? Even yeah. though the, 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 you take the engine out, the gearbox out, and everything else. Yeah. Wow. But the gearbox is still there. I'll buy. It. It's quite empty. Right. Um, and the drivetrain's all the same standard Mini. Right. Um, it's literally just a uh, motor bolted on with a solid frame yeah. uh, to support it all and the electrics but then you've got the big um, like heavily uh, heavy duty cables yeah. um, for any damage etc they're all in the exhaust tunnel right so there's still quite a bit of weight yes yeah um, one of the big things that I always forget to mention is that, um, the supports for the batteries obviously right for crash testing etc they've got to be fairly heavy yes, duty yeah so that adds quite a bit of yes. metal work to the yeah. back end as well I mean I think these are the interesting things that I've discovered as I found out more about it is the the way it'll affect the car industry as we know it now apart from the fact that um, you know it's different technology and lots of things to learn the servicing is going to be different I mean you know yeah. sure this car needs servicing but not to the same degree and to the same amount as a 
petrol um, car. Right? At the moment, we're running on uh, a three-month service schedule right. on these vehicles. That, I mean, the development vehicles, and yeah. mainly that is doing information checks, so pulling data out yeah. of the vehicle. Um, and then it's kind of just a safety check, making yes. sure everything's all right with the vehicle, yeah. there's no problems. Um, and things like, believe it or not, checking for corrosion on the brakes because right. you don't use them. Of course, you don't use them. So, they don't so they're, get, not get, they're not getting polished in the same way. cleaned yeah. up in the same way. So. That's my very bad driver. Yeah. Sorry, we just, we're, I'm not going to say that we went slightly above the speed limit. I'm not going to admit it, but we did. <laughs> first questions I always get, you know, how far does it go and how long does it take to charge, which I'm sure is, you know, yep. the same thing, but I mean, what, I mean, if you're, if it's 13 amp, 13 like, amp uh, charge, we've uh, deemed it as the occasional charge because primarily these people have been charging at home, Yeah. so occasional use is 8 to 10 and a half hours, I think, right. depending on char what charge level it is, yeah. um, so pr probably about 10 flat battery, Yeah. Um, and then on the fast charge, which is part of the box that you fit in your house yeah. runs on cooker type yes. of electrics 32 amps yeah that's up to four and a half hours right so um, so it, basically easily overnight no problem yeah, at all basically okay. i mean the range of this is greater than i mean my, the range on the army if they say is 80 realistically about 70 you know you want to go much more the than quoted that. figure is 156 right um real world we're saying 100 it's right. quite easy to get 100 right um if you do primarily motorways maybe a bit less than 100 drive it sensibly yeah, a bit more yeah. hundred. Um, it okay. does depend once you get used to driving um, and driving style like smooth acceleration smooth deceleration yeah. it's quite easy to get 120 which right. we, we've, like, we've got it whilst right. we've been testing it um, most of the pioneers they get in it and well because it's so, tempting to do a bit of that yeah, absolutely you're gonna, you're gonna blow it the first few times but um, you get used to it you? yeah they they get sort of between about 90 and 105, I suppose. Right. Um, Which is very good. I mean, that yeah. is plenty, isn't it, actually? Uh, one of the chaps wrote on his Facebook, uh, like, yeah, I, I probably could get more than 100, but I enjoy it too much. Yes, It's got yes. 200 brake horsepower that I'm not yeah. about to waste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he said, oh, yeah, I'll get that 90, 95. Yeah. Uh, Do you say that you personally had gone from, I mean, have you been affected by being involved in this car because presumably you work, you've worked in the motor industry yeah. and with petrol cars and all the normal yeah. well, oh, normal cars I suppose as you absolute know. petrol head I would say right. I am yeah. um, and I love petrol cars and but this is this is really good I do right. like this brilliant that's really good of you thank you so that's much that's right it's a pleasure very good so glad you enjoyed it that man looks very alarmed that we came in here yeah <laughs> that's right we've got the air con on probably had the fan Oh, that's, so, yeah. it's, it's funny because every other noise that a, a car yeah, normally you, makes, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, wouldn't notice hear it, would you? it. No. You do hear it in this, it's, it's a bit Park. Like, so. Then how do you turn uh, the start stop button? Start stop button. Gauge turns off, it turns just off. Push key in to release it. Oh, that's it. Wonderful, I'll give you that back. Thank you very much. Really good. No Thanks a lot. Thank you.